So this question on video number five now is, uh, you know, they give you two things that, so, so they give you something that you would usually solve for and something you usually start with but leave out something that they usually give you in the beginning. And these are fun questions because you got to do some solving and figuring out and think a little bit outside the box if you've been studying this one particular way. Um, it kind of throws you through a loop and it's fun. It's real fun. So check it out. You need to flush a pipe that's two foot in diameter. The flush rate needs to be at least eight feet per second. What is the minimum gallons per minute that you need to flush this pipe? So you have a pipe that is two foot in diameter and you need it to be flushed at eight feet per second eight feet per second but how many gallons per minute is that so we're used to uh well i'm used to because if you've just been watching the videos then you're not used to anything yet you've only done one of every problem but uh you you get used to solving with this being gallons per minute and you take it to feet per second but this one they give you feet per second until you take it to gallons per minute so now you got to kind of figure it out and work your way around. So you need gallons per minute and you're giving feet per second. So let's take feet per second as close as we can to gallons, right? Let's do the same thing we did when we had the gallons per minute right here. So we got eight feet per second. Let's take the seconds to minutes, 60 seconds for every minute and and let's take the feet to cubic feet but wait we have no way to make this cubic foot but remember from when we were solving that we can get a square foot number out of the just finding out the the area of just the bottom of the pipe right so we, we need a, a square foot number right here our equation was studded so let's, let's figure that out real quick. Let's, let's figure out that square foot number. 7.85 times 2 squared times 2 times 2, also wrote as times 2 times 2, equals 3.14 square foot. So that little part of the pipe right there has an, a surface area, a floor area, of 3.14 square foot. Okay, now we can put it here. 3.14 square foot. That'll make our our foot to cubic foot. And we need cubic foot because if we have cubic foot, we can convert it to gallons, right? Okay, cool. So now we can have cubic foot per minute. And when we do that, we get 25.12 cubic foot per minute. 25.12 cubic foot per minute minute. Remember this number? This number came from right here. You threw it up there. And we it doesn't need to have a suffix. If you want to make it clear for you, you can just put one there. So we got 25.12 cubic foot per minute. And then it's easy, right? We can just turn cubic foot to gallons. We know what that is. So there's how many gallons per cubic foot? There's 7.48. 7.48 gallons per, oh, whoops. I'm going to do it the other way around so that we can cancel out cubic foot. We don't need any more cubic foot. We need to cancel out cubic foot. So there's a cubic foot down here, and there's 7.48 gallons for each of those cubic feet. Now we get to cancel out the cubic feet, and we multiply 25.12 by 7.48, and you get... 1.8 no 187.9 gallons per minute 187.9 gallons per minute and so now you know that if it's eight foot per second in order to be equivalent to eight foot per second the flush rate's got to be 187.9 gallons per minute 
So the answer to this question, the minimum gallons per minute that you need to flush this pipe is 187.9 gallons per minute. And if, uh, so on the test, you know, it's multiple choice, they'll probably round up to 188. And with all these questions, um, they never make the, the numbers so close to where if you, if you ended up with this, they'll never give you like, is it B, 188, or is it C, 187.5? They'll never try to trick you like that. It'll, it'll be 188 and 170 and 160 and 200. And so it'll be obvious that 188 is the, as close as it is. And so that's the one you pick. You need to use a decimal marker. A decimal darker? Yep. Are my decimals too dark? <laughs> That's a decimal. That's a decimal. Thank you, Santina. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look like commas, huh? I just couldn't even see it in the answer. Oh, my bad. And don't get confused with the decimals and the multiplication signs. These are these are little multiplication signs. I don't like to use X's because I like to use X to solve for stuff. So if I'm using X to multiply, then it gets all you just see a bunch of X's. So that's your answer. Hope it taught you something. Please comment if you have any questions you're struggling with. I would love the challenge to try to help you figure that out. And uh, so most of these questions are for distribution and treatment. So I'm I'm studying right now my treatment book, and so I've been pulling these questions out of the treatment book. But they are questions I think you'll see more so on the distribution test. The treatment book will be a lot more stuff with like filters and uh, and the separators and flocculation. But there is, you know, this stuff too. <laughs> so treatment has like this and that and distribution just has this. Distribution is a little bit simpler of a test. And if you're watching these videos, the math will be awesome for you. If you're getting good at these videos, the math will be easy for you.